Chris, TerraPower just announced its plans for the location of your first facility. And can you talk about that and the role that unions may play? Yeah, sure, Josh. Uh, so we're super excited um, to uh, announce that we plan to build the first natrium reactor, our, our ARDP demonstration reactor, at a coal plant site that is already scheduled for retirement in, in Wyoming. And it turns out there's four potential sites um, that we're, we're looking at and that we'll announce before the year is over. So um, just a couple of weeks ago, we made this announcement with uh, Governor Gordon of Wyoming, uh, Secretary Granholm participated in the announcement as well, as well as uh, uh, ranking member, uh, Senator Barrasso. So great, great bipartisan support. It turns out that of the four coal plant candidate sites we're considering, all of them have union operators. And so the intention would be, uh, you know, we'll, we'll select the demo site, but undoubtedly there will be other natrium reactors. And we would expect these, these plants to have union operators uh, like the, the coal plants have today. Uh, of course, we'll be taking advantage of the grid connections and, and uh, cooling water connections. And then we fully expect the construction projects to be, um, you know, staffed by skill union labor, um, you know, like those from, from the building trades and, and others. Um, so it's a great story for, you know, renewed energy leadership for the U.S. and, and nuclear, but it's also a great story for the, the energy transition. I, I think a lot of times we talk about the energy transition, pe people, especially workers, can't always identify with what are those new jobs. In, in this case, we can show them, hey, there will be projects and they will need welders, they will need pipe fitters, and, and these projects are beginning now.